Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to use Lightroom presets to give a really cool theme look to your photo. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Ramelli. I'm a French photographer from the beautiful, the amazing, the romantic city of Paris, France. And I make one to two tutorial per week. Click here if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to like this video if you do like it. And in this video, I'm going to give you a whole bunch of film look presets for free. You will find the link under this video. But for now, let me show you how you can load Lightroom presets to take your photos in places you would not expect. All right, a few months ago, I did an episode called How to Create a Cool Desaturated Look, uh, a Herburn Desaturated Look. And it was one of my YouTube videos that went the most viral. And uh, a lot of people seems to enjoy it, and I thought I was gonna I was gonna do another one on that, because I keep getting emails of people who is sending me like uh, people on Instagram say, oh I love this look that I saw on Instagram. How does how does he does it, and how do you do all these looks on Instagram? I keep getting emails on that, so I wanted to show you my process on working with presets. I think presets is uh, re really something that is. Uh, a great starting point and it's going to take your photos in places you wouldn't expect. So for example, this is a raw file that I shot uh, from a helicopter at uh, 8000 ISO with a Sony A7S. So it's a pretty noisy file. Uh, it's a, it's a, a nice shot that I did for my book on New York. I really like it. And you know, sometimes I want to try different presets to see how it goes. So I want to show you first how you create presets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a virtual copy. So I'm not working on, on the original raw file. And the way I usually do a preset, especially when I want to give a special look to, you know, um, a Herburn photo or even a portrait, it applies to everything. So I usually start off with, you know, the regular uh, on this one. So when I do presets, I don't do my uh, plus 100 minus 100 that I usually do. I do about plus 50, plus 50, a bit of black and white just to add a bit of contrast, okay? Something like that. But then right away, well, on this one, I'm gonna make it a little brighter. On this, uh, so all I did was adding contrast by, you know, opening the shadows, you know, bringing on the highlights and blacks and whites. Now, what's really gonna give a look to a photo is this two section, the HSL and the split toning. There's so many possibilities there. For example, one of the key popular thing you can do is you go to saturation, and you boost all the warm colors, red, orange, yellow, for example, uh, the warm colors, and then you do the opposite. You desaturate the, the green, the aqua, the blue, the purple, and the magenta. So you only leave the very, you know, warm color. Then you go to you, and on the you, uh, I'm gonna take my reds, and I'm gonna make them even more red. I'm gonna take my orange and make them even more orange. I'm gonna take my yellow and make them even more yellow. Okay, so now I got a look. It's kind of a, it's like a Tron look. It's a look, you know. Uh, so if I like a look, what I do is right away, and this is the trick. When you have a look that you like, you click right away here on presets. I'm going to put this in the search Herburn look preset. I'm going to call this uh, uh, Herburn red. Okay, and I'm going to take, I'm going to say, okay, keep in mind all the settings that I did. Boom. Okay, now I can go, for example, on this photo. Okay, and I can go and find my Herburn Raid preset, which is here in the Surge Herburn look, and can click on it, and boom, I got a look for that photo. It could work. I actually like it on this photo. I think it works pretty well. I'm going to reset that, and I'm going to carry on. I'm going to do another one. So I'm going to right click, and I'm going to create uh, a virtual copy, and I'm going to do. Uh, well, you know what? I can no. I'm going to do something different. I'm going to right-click here, create virtual copy. So I'm going to take the preset that I've already done, but I'm going to do the opposite. I'm just doing some research. I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to desaturate anything that is warm, and I'm going to boost the greens, the aqua, the blue, the purple, and the magenta, for example. So it's the opposite. Anything which is warm kind of goes down, and then I can go on the U. I can do the opposite. I can put this at down at zero and I can make my, you know, I just try things, you know, my aqua, a bit more green, you know, it's a very creative process. So I'm just trying, I just try to move cursors until I've got a look that I like. Okay, I'm not quite there yet. So usually when I'm not quite there yet, I like to play around with the split toning. 
the way split toning works is that you've got two data here highlights and shadows so i want to add for example and i think it would work on this one some warm in the highlights so i'm going to take the yellows and i'm going to click here and now you see anything which is very bright is becoming yellow if you think it's too strong you can lower the saturation here or you can boost it as you want but we are in the yellow okay and i can do the reverse here i can take here and go go into the blue and uh same thing i can make this a strong blue or light blue so now I got a complete different look. I got like a urban, cold, golden, you know, cold, golden look. So if I like it, I can go here. Oops. I can go here, click on plus, and I'm still in my folder. And I'm going to call this urban, um, blue, golden look. And that's the idea. Now, one of the things that I'm releasing today for the first time is uh, a preset pack that I did uh, with another photographer. We spent months on it called the film presets. And the way, th the way it works is it's based basically on old films. So I'm going to reset this photo and show you some of the things. Now, this is a huge pack and it's got a hundred presets. I'm going to give you as part of this video 10 for free so you can try and you can purchase if you want the big package with the 100 preset. It, it was a lot of work. And so the way it works, um, these presets are really based on some of the most popular looks you find on Instagram. and But they're also meant to be a bit subtle. They're not supposed to be like huge looks. So one trick is, so this is my raw file that's on retouch. I can go here and I can, you know, you can see here in this screen, okay, a little preview as I move my mouse. Oh, I like that sort of golden look. I can click on it, boom very similar to the golden look we did before and I can continue go down boom that's another kind of cool look that I like okay oh that's another one that I kind of like that might work on this photo and I just go and you know try different things and sometimes what I do is I would take a photo and I create a different virtual copy and uh, I just play around like this you know uh, so let's carry on let's choose another look for this one and I spend sometimes a lot of times, so you have to look here. So sometimes you have a lag in it and, and it does not react anymore, which is what's happening here. So when that happens, you have no choice than to click to find out what the look. Oh, I love that look, for example. So I'm going to clip, keep this one like a very desaturated look. Um, let me see. This one I'm going to go back to and I'm going to go and check. There is some really cool Insta look that I really like that, that really makes the photo looks very old let's see here Insta Argentic 13 now this one 9 now this one is very strong uh, 4 I mean there's so many looks yeah that makes like a very unsaturated uh, no this is very contrasty let's see 10 so sometimes you're gonna lose uh, you're not gonna see the preview when that happens, it's just a lag. You have to basically put your mouse over here and wait for it to come back. That might take a little while. Preview doesn't work anymore, but that's fine. That, that's something that is happening for me and might happen for you. So you can just click here. That's a complete black and white. So then I can decide, okay, here I got a black and white look. Uh, this is like a red look. Uh, this is more a natural look. This is a blue and golden look. This is a yellow and sort of desaturate look. This is like a magenta more. And you just choose whatever you want. I tell you, playing with presets is really the secret to get your photos also working well on Instagram. Let's see a few other examples. So same idea. This is a photo uh, I shot in Paris, Jardin du Luxembourg. I'm gonna, I can click here to reset it and I can just go through uh, and see if, if there's a look that I like. You know, I can do like the virtual copy techniques. I think it's cool. Uh, so I'm going to go here. Um, let's make three. And I just show you because that's really how I work with presets. And I think th these are really cool presets because they're really made. Oh, I like I love this one. This look might work great on this photo, like a bit of a vintage look. Okay, well, there is a little spot. And, you know, it's always a starting point. It's not an end point. For example, on this one, I think the photo is too dark, so I made it brighter. Uh, you know, 
okay I can click on this next one and let's go for something completely different uh, so I'm going to click on film presets here and then just go okay the preview doesn't work anymore sometimes it works sometimes it does not so it's by type of film so you, what you can do is just click on the type of film and that's a cool look that's really like an entry look okay I can go on here and uh, try to go for a, a complete different look let's see now that's pretty similar to the first one we got that's very blue okay the preview is working again yeah there's a bit of lag sometimes the preview doesn't work and I black and white let's see here it's too blue to me let's try something else oh I like this one kind of greenish like the matrix look for example okay I'm gonna boost the exposure or two I'm gonna erase a little spot but now I got three different tall looks on the photo you know and uh, I can decide which one I want a couple of more examples uh, let's say on this one this is a photo that my nephew took Stephen Reddy very good photographer and uh, so this kind of look works really well with sort of lifetime shoot so uh, I create three visual copies and I can just first one okay I can go for like a desaturated black and white the next one I can go for complete much more vibrant kind of look and this one you know, I can go for something totally different let's see here yeah that's very blue now and you just play around but you get the idea and really the the whole idea is like when you have something oh I really like that you know I really like that look then you okay I like that look so now I got three looks this one this one that's this one this look oh these two are very similar and black and white so if they're too similar I can carry on and go for something else well there was a look that's there and I always use the preview window no I don't want the blue look it's too blue this could be cool yeah it's a little desaturated so now I got different looks for the same photo let's do this one for example I'm gonna create a virtual copy and let's see what could I use on this one? Oh, this is cool this is cool kinda contrasty I like that and let's go for something else on this one uh, let's see here and I just love to play around with it because I'm always impressed to let's see this one okay two different type of looks this is very cold this is warm I can see okay which one is gonna work the best you get the idea anyway if you click the link below this video you will get the free presets so you can give it an idea and if you want to get the full package he spent months with me on trying to uh, mimic all the old films that we have. There's 100 films uh, that you uh, presets that you can use. It's the most advanced package of preset I ever sold. Uh, you can also purchase it. You'll find the link below this video. Anyways, I hope you play around, create your own presets, try to apply it to your photo. You will see it's really fun to do. I'm going to give you a couple of these raw files so you can play around some of the presets. And uh, voila, I hope that helps you to, uh, you know, have uh, new looks to your photo uh, you know I think photography is all about creation and this is a really cool way to create interesting stuff